Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking through a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com in the topic of measurements and units. The title is Metric System, perhaps the first concept builder you'll do this year. So uh, the metric system uses uh, a base unit, um, like a meter, a liter, or a gram, uh, are three examples, and then it puts a prefix in front of that. So uh, that we can, uh, so we can say something instead of saying how far is it to Washington D.C. Oh, it's three three million meters. Well, we use prefixes for that. Okay, so a million is right here. So instead of saying a million meters, we could say it's three mega meters. Mega just meaning a million. Three million three mega meters. Okay. Typically, we use kilometers for big distances, and we'd say a thousand kilometers, which would be a thousand thousand kilometers, which is a million kilometers. Okay, there's three in particular that we'll be looking at in this concept builder. We're going to be looking at kilo, which means a thousand. We're going to be looking at uh, deci. No, we aren't. I take that back. We are not looking at that. We are looking at kilo. We are looking at centi. And we are looking at milli. Okay, I did want you to notice this before we leave this, that at the beginning we have like for 10 meters, 100 meters, 1000 meters, just multiples of 10, 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third. But then just like our counting goes from tens to hundreds to thousands, the next new number we have is a million, which is an order of magnitude of three greater, 10 to the third to 10 to the sixth, and then to a billion, a trillion, a quadrillion, a pentillion. If you have a pentillion meters away, that'd be an exameter. Okay. Same thing on the smaller side. We start out going by orders, orders of magnitude. Then we go by three orders of magnitude when we get to a millionth, a billionth, etc. You'll recognize some of these from things like gigabytes, terabytes, petabytes, um, because we're getting so computers able to store so much information. There's this many. Uh, actually, a thousand pieces of information um, because uh, bytes are a thousand bits, which each bit is a piece of information. Anyways, that's beyond what we need to know. So we're going to take a look at these three um, prefixes. All right. So uh, in the, there's three levels to this concept builder. The first one's Apprentice. It's titled Milli, Centi, and Kilo. Okay, and in this one, you're going to need to know that milli means one over one thousand or one one thousandth, that centi means one one hundredth or one over a hundred, and kilo means a thousand. All right, so if we have a full uh, ruler, many of you know that the two small lines are a millimeter. There are one thousand millimeters in a meter, okay, which means that this is one one thousandth of the meter. That's where that comes from. There are a hundred of these, which you can see we've counted to 90 here. So we get to a hundred by the end. So this distance is one one hundredth of a meter. Centi means one out of a hundred, one over a hundred. And then you can see all my little rulers stacked up here. I didn't get enough. So I just put a dot, 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 the ellipse there. And so if you put a thousand meter sticks together, that would be a kilometer or a kilometer. All right, so the basic idea is you replace the prefix with the number and multiply. Okay, so for example, if you had 80 milliamps, okay, you would just take 80, and then milli means times one over 1,000, okay, amps. So 80 times one over 1,000, you could also write 80 over 1,000. At this point, depending on your comfort level with math, you can either take out your calculator or recognize that since you're dividing by a thousand, that's three zeros, that means you're going to move the decimal place to the right three times. So we'd get 0 0.08 amps. If you need to take out your calculator to do that kind of calculation, do it. Take out a calculator when you get to something like that. All right. Next example, oh, I, I forgot, I typed this in. So 80 thousandths of an amp. On this level, all they have you do is just recognize that this is this. 
Okay, so the 80 was here. The thousandths means we're dividing by a thousand amps because that's what milli means. Next one, got to close that. 30 kilodynes. So we look up, what is a kilo? Kilo means a thousand. So instead of kilo, we're going to write a thousand. Okay, so in this case, that would be 30 times a thousand. In other words, 30,000 dynes. Okay. All right. And dynes, I think, is a measurement of work. Um, but that's not important for what you need to know right now. You just need to know that whatever that unit is over there, by the way, this is a unit of current, uh, whatever it is, it doesn't matter because we're just all we're practicing here is taking the prefix and putting in what the prefix means, taking the prefix kilo and putting in a thousand. OK, so that's what you'll have to do. You'll have to uh, figure out that this is this, that milli means one thousandth, kilo means times a thousand. All right, on to the next level. Clear. Um, so this one, we're doing the same thing. Uh, in this case, in the master level, you're matching them up. They'll have two answers using different uh, prefixes or no prefix, and you will um, just match up the ones that are the same. And in the wizard level, you do the same thing, uh, except for your uh, the same process we're going to do here. But then in, in the end, you're ranking them as to which one's the biggest and which one's the smallest. And which one's the middlest is the term they use for the one in the middle. Okay, so uh, 300 milligrams. Milligrams is one one thousandth. Okay, and that's grams. And um, then, then we'd take uh, that and take the um, 300 and divide by 1,000. So if we do that with our calculator, 300 divided by 1,000, we get 0.3 grams. All right. And so then in the matching level, after you've converted all of them, like we're about to do with the rest of these, then you would just look for another one that says 0.3 grams. In the ranking, ranking task, you look for is 0.3 bigger than 0.2 or bigger than 400 or whatever, and you'd just rank which one's bigger. All right, next one, we got 80,000. By the way, when you see a little gap here, like, like there is right in there, um, that's like having a comma in America. We put a comma there. Okay, um, so 80,000 centigrams centi means one over 100 grams and so when we do 80,000 divided by 100 because that's in the denominator then we are moving the decimal twice essentially or just plug it into your calculator and so we get 800 grams once you've got them in the same unit, you can see that these two answers are not the same. That's what you'd be doing in master level. In wizard level, you'd recognize that 800 is bigger than 0.3. Okay, and here we have uh, something in kilometers. We just changed our base unit from grams to meters. But the prefixes work the same way. So we have 0 0.06, then kilo means 1,000. meters. Which then we can multiply that out. If we're multiplying something with three zeros, we move the decimal point the other direction. Or once again, just grab your calculator and we have 60 meters. So that's kind of the, the easier ones because you have a, a, a situation where you have a lot of a small unit, a lot of a small unit, a very little amount of a big unit. But we could go the other way and have a very small amount of a small unit. So that's what we're going to do on this side is do small amounts of small units and big amounts of big units. So on this side, we have 0 0.03 and we're going to divide that by a thousand. And grams is our base unit. So 0 0.03 divided by 1,000 means we're going to move the decimal 0.3 to the left, and we get 
zero, 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 three grams. Okay, finally, or next, we see that we have 80,000 kilograms. So that means we have 80,000 times, I did an X instead of the parentheses. Anyways, usually I'm a parentheses guy, but that's okay. They both mean times. Um, times a thousand grams. Remember, kilo meant a thousand. That's why I'm plugging in a thousand here. Okay, so we have 80,000 times a thousand, which will give us 80 million. So 80,000 kilograms is 80 million grams. And finally, we have 0 0.06 centi. Centi means one over a hundred meters. And so uh, dividing by a hundred means we're gonna move the decimal point twice to the left because there are two zeros and a hundred. So we have 0 0.0006 meters. And so that is um, how you do, uh, oh, so, and so then once you've converted everything to its base unit, then you compare how many of them there are in the ranking task, you match them up in the matching pairs task, and you complete the concept builder. Enjoy puzzling out and learning about uh, uh, prefixes in the metric system uh, concept builder here. Be sure and click that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you the next time on the scientific adventures of Beardman.